Okay, good, uh, good afternoon. My name is uh, Gianni Pelizza from TechEdge and uh, uh, what we will see today is an overview about uh, the new releases from SAP or the new software that SAP is releasing inside the program related to the s 4 uh, platform that is uh, the new platform from SAP uh, leveraging on the HANA uh, in-memory database and in detail we will see what happens in uh, manufacturing area. Uh, a couple of words about myself. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I joined Kedge a couple of months ago after a long uh, experience and story in SAP ecosystem mainly in uh, manufacturing and industrial engineering uh, uh, SAP solution for um, different kind of sectors between uh, industrial uh, companies, uh, fashion retail uh, uh, and uh, oil and gas and uh, utilities. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm in SAP uh, ecosystem since uh, 1999. Uh, and now I've got the uh, role in TechEdge uh, as an uh, Industry 4.0 uh, Corporate Director for all the uh, countries where TechEdge is uh, today, uh, or I've got his presence today. Uh, a couple of words about the uh, agenda. Uh, I would like to start with an overview about uh, uh, Industry 4.0. I will not spend more than uh, 10 minutes about uh, our vision on Industry 4.0, uh, the building blocks uh, and our platform uh, to uh, cover a couple of scenarios. One that is called the smart manufacturing and the other one that is related to industrial IoT. Then we will have the opportunity to go deeper inside these uh, two scenarios. Uh, and then uh, we will go uh, inside the s manufacturing innovations. Um, in, in detail, we will talk about the uh, manufacturing planning innovation, uh, quality management and uh, and over from engineering to manufacturing innovation. Then there will be uh, space for Q&A. Uh, this webinar is uh, recorded. Uh, it means that you will also have the opportunity to uh, review the webinar and we will send uh, to all the participants uh, the uh, recording of this webinar um, and uh, the Q&A will be at the end and I kindly ask you to uh, take notes of your questions and then you can write to me or ask me directly at the end of the webinar. Okay, uh, what's behind Industry 4.0? Uh, today there is a very, very uh, important movement, a new wave of uh, uh, focusing in digital transformation in manufacturing companies. This is related to uh, a set of uh, additional technologies or new technologies that today are available for every company and let me say uh, also in a consistent and sustainable way every company could talk today about uh, IoT, big data, predictive, uh, cloud and so on and so on. Uh, it means that leveraging on these uh, technologies and leveraging on the fact that uh, in every company or in a lot of companies today there is a digital backbone uh, related to PLM, ERP, uh, CRM, MAS systems. Uh, this new wave of, uh, uh, of uh, application or, or this new wave uh, or new approach uh, that is called Industry 4.0 uh, will leveraging on these new technologies and also to the integration between the current uh, enterprise systems that are uh, usually used by companies today as a digital backbone. Uh, Industry 4.0 is not only innovation in manufacturing process. In fact, uh, for our point of view, um, Industry 4.0 uh, is something that will start from the new product development, usually involves uh, PLM and all these kind of uh, tools that are in charge of uh, R&D. Um, and the goal is to be able to uh, leverage on the digital innovation to approach uh, uh, the customers with uh, new services and new business model uh, that uh, are disruptive compared to what we are doing today. Mm, what, what are the, the main goals 
today from uh, the companies that we are working with. Uh, the main goals uh, that we will see are more or less uh, related to three big areas. One is uh, uh, related to what we call hyper-personalization. What does it mean? It means that also uh, industrial companies and not only fashion retail, for example, that are the first ones that are starting with this uh, approach, uh, would like to have affordable way to configure and to involve the customer in a product configuration, but also to uh, create a, a very, very, uh, let me say, consistent streamlined flow between product configuration, uh, supply chain planning, and manufacturing executions. It's usually called lot size of one. Uh, and uh, this approach uh, is uh, uh, related, as I told you, to the uh, possibility to create uh, in a sustainable way a flow in a company that, is, that will be able to build up uh, a specific product for a specific customer. The second big, big area is related to uh, the manufacturing and generally speaking to the logistics, uh, to logistics uh, process. In fact, uh, today uh, the manufacturing execution system are not enough or are, are not uh, the only topic that we see in uh, manufacturing execution. Um, there are a new wave uh, of uh, uh, systems that are not only manufacturing execution recording, like the old MAS systems, but are intelligent manufacturing execution. In fact, uh, the trend is to move some kind of intelligence uh, to the shop floor to be able at shop floor level to take some small decisions that could be at a lower level compared to what I decide and what I plan at ERP level uh, to build up what we call a resilient production or resilient manufacturing. There are another couple of areas in manufacturing or in operation management. One that is very hot today is related to the energy management. Uh, uh, the other one is related to uh, manage and to predict uh, potential failures uh, on equipment that are, uh, for example, in a customer side uh, or uh, yeah, uh, wherever they are. It's not a problem. They are not in my company. They are in a customer side or, or wherever. They are, maybe they are moving on the roads or something like this. And uh, the idea is to collect data from these equipments and to provide uh, additional services to uh, avoid, uh, for example, um, stops or, uh, let me say, uh, lack of productivity between these uh, assets. The last, uh, the last request, the last area that uh, our customers uh, are, or would like to achieve is uh, to leverage on the previous two topics uh, to build up a new business model. Uh, in, this, in this case, uh, one of the most, uh, let me say, famous examples are related to a German company called the Kaiser Compressors uh, and they are moving ahead uh, selling air compressed and not uh, the specific uh, equipment, for example. This is, it's only one example and it's very, very uh, known in the, in the industry for the uh, uh, let me say, community. Uh, but the, the main goal is to be able to add uh, and at the end of the day to sell the product as a services and not the product itself. Uh, one thing that from my point of view is very important is also to make some clarifications about uh, which is the difference, which is the boundaries between Industry for the Tour and IoT. Uh, from my point of view, uh, and generally speaking, this is a SAP slide, uh, I think that it's more or less the common view of this topic. Uh, industry for the tour is related to what happens in the industrial scenario. Uh, industrial scenario means uh, in a scenario where I've got uh, integration of different layers of application. As you can see in my slides, uh, we have at the top level or at the enterprise level, ERP systems, PLM systems, and so on. Then we've got uh, at manufacturing or shop floor level the MAS system and uh, uh, all the systems related to the integration with machines, SCADA or PLC. 
Uh, industry 4.0 is for manufacturing companies, is to improve uh, engineering to manufacturing processes, is to improve the convergences between operation technology, the technology that is used at shop flow level, to the information technology that is what we usually manage with ERP systems. There are a lot of other applications that are possible today, uh, leveraging on IoT, uh, smart cars, smart cities, smart buildings, and so on. This is not industry for auto, it's IoT, generally speaking. Industry for auto is more related to the internal industrial scenarios. Uh, we have developed a model in TechEdge to uh, try to explain also to uh, our customers what are the uh, building blocks, what are the components that are necessary to build up a fully, uh, a fully and complete uh, uh, industry for the total scenario. Uh, as you can see in, in blue, uh, I've tried to describe what are usually called the digital enterprise backbones. Uh, usually every company today has got, for example, PLM, ERP, customer service, CRM, supply chain, and so on. Uh, this is components that usually today we are uh, integrating, we are improving, but the real, from my point of view, industry for that all enablers, the, the, the systems that could provide a real difference are related to the green components. In fact, uh, following the value chain of a traditional company, uh, one of the first enabler could be uh, a web-based product configurator that could provide, or that could uh, uh, allow us uh, to uh, provide to my customers a web-based tool to configure the product uh, uh, following the rules that are coming from R&D and PLM system. In SAP, uh, in SAP ecosystem, this tool is usually called, or is or the tool that is usually used for this. Uh, for this um, function, for this functionality is uh, called CPQ, Configurable Price and Quote, uh, and is something that is very, very interesting. We will have a, a webinar about this in the future. Uh, then we go deeper inside uh, operations and manufacturing, and here we've got uh, all the uh, systems of manufacturing integration in SAP. We will talk about systems like MII or ME and uh, what is usually called industrial IoT, the opportunity to uh, connect uh, equipment that are not in my uh, shop floor, in my manufacturing plant, but are across the world. Think about a company that is doing, for example, uh, packaging lines that have got a set of packaging, packaging lines uh, all across the world in all different uh, customers with all different configurations. I would like to collect data from all these different uh, uh, equipments and then provide some kind of uh, predictive customer service, predictive maintenance and this kind of topic. Manufacturing integration and industrial IoT uh, must be able to leverage on the new technologies uh, of uh, IT, new technologies and generally speaking we are talking about cloud, we are talking about in memory, we are talking about uh, predictive uh, Algorithms, all these kind of things are inside the green box called cloud platform. There are also uh, an interesting uh, set of functionalities today related to the opportunity to distribute the 3D data. Uh, in SAP, there is a solution called SAP Visual Enterprise that is able to collect data in 3D format uh, from the CAD tools and distribute this data to uh, the entire supply chain or the entire value chain in, inside or internal value chain in the company or suppliers, partners and so on. This is our view of what are the main building blocks. It's clear that uh, the, uh, if you see this uh, uh, schema, seems that there is a lot of things to do. Generally speaking, uh, this kind of approach is a roadmap. Usually, uh, once we work with our customers, uh, we will decide, or we have to decide, what are the, the main goals and which are, which are the first building blocks to set up, 
to achieve the goals that are more important for the company itself. Uh, a couple of words about uh, technical architecture. Uh, there is a lot of <coughs> potential technical architectures in uh, in, uh, in industry for the tool. Uh, we decided in TechEdge uh, to build up uh, a couple of this. One is uh, uh, called uh, one or one we call it uh, uh, smart manufacturing. Smart uh, smart manufacturing architecture is the architecture that we would like to set up uh, for companies that uh, have. Uh, a strong, uh, let me say, uh, requirement related to managing the internal shop floor. In this case, uh, we are working with systems to uh, retrieve, to connect, uh, to retrieve data and connect, uh, let me say, tooling machines or other kind of uh, internal, let me say, equipment. Um, and uh, this data will be uh, consolidated in a tool or in a platform that usually is installed inside the shop floor to guarantee business continuity and uh, uh, zero latency in terms of uh, exchange of information and this platform is called MII, Manufacturing Integration and Intelligence. Uh, one of the advantages of MII is also that uh, MII is uh, or have still all the connectors with uh, the ERP systems, as you see. Uh, it means that we haven't got to uh, build up uh, with tools like uh, PI or systems like this, uh, the integration between the shop floor <coughs> and the uh, ERP, because this integration is guaranteed by uh, the MII connectors. Uh, there is also a solution from SAP called SAP ME for manufacturing execution, uh, and the other oh, and, and and the idea then is to consolidate data coming from different MII systems. Think about a company that have got uh, five, ten manufacturing plants. Every plant have got every plant have got its own MII server, and then we consolidate the data at the cloud level. For example, in HANA Cloud Platform to build up. Uh, cockpits, for example, for uh, managing um, the, uh, for example, overall equipment efficiency at enterprise level. The other architecture that we are, or that we have developed to help our customers to start not from scratch but for something is an architecture that is related to the uh, monitoring of equipment that are geographically distributed. Uh, think about, for example, uh, as I told you before, uh, a packaging company that have got a lot of packaging lines in every continent in different customers and the goal could be for example to retrieve data from every packaging lines to achieve uh, let me say a high uh, or high level or uh, high fidelity visibility about uh, uh, what happens in every uh, packaging lines and to provide additional services to my customer, for example, to create also a more more customer intimacy uh, because I'm not only selling you a packaging line but also providing you with this monitoring system, uh, let me say, the opportunity to add additional services and so on. Now, uh, this was the, the first part of the, of the, of the webinar about, let me say, our vision of Industry for the Tour and generally speaking to positioning and to explain how we intend to go ahead with Industry for the Tour. Now we go uh, deeper inside the manufacturing innovations related to S4, the new platform from SAP. Uh, once we talk S S4, uh, we talk about uh, HANA. HANA is the new database, new in-memory database of SAP. Is the central uh, building block of all the uh, strategy of SAP for the new generation of uh, enterprise systems uh, is a system that have got uh, some kind of, uh, um, let me say, advantages and where you can leverage on some advantages. One is related to the uh, architecture of the system. The system is uh, uh, cloud and the uh, HANA is, uh, is usually delivered on the cloud system. It means that it is scalable and have got all the uh, classical advantages of a cloud system. Uh, another important innovation is related to the, the user interface. 
all the uh, HANA applications are accessible with uh, UX5 or uh, Fiori uh, user interface. It means that uh, a lot of uh, work and a lot of optimization could be done in the user experience of customers to, uh, to, the, to the application. We are not more related to the uh, all the, let me say, graphical user interface with, with transactions and so on of SAP. We are in a new approach to the user interface, people-centric approach. Uh, this approach is also independent by the device. Today, a lot of users are accessing to the enterprise system not only by the desktop, with the desktop application, but with the mobile systems and so on. And the third main uh, advantage of this uh, application is that on top of HANA and uh, leveraging on the real-time access to data and process, we could build up uh, a lot of additional smart business application. We will see in this example, for example, uh, in this webinar, the opportunity to have a real-time MRP uh, with a response time that is between five to ten times uh, faster than the classical ERP of the MRP, sorry, of uh, the old ERP uh, approach. Uh, if we go deeper inside uh, the uh, connected manufacturing strategy of SAP, uh, you will see that there are uh, a couple of layers. Starting from, uh, from the lower side, we've got all the let me say, machine connectivity layer, where we could have uh, a set of different uh, equipments uh, or data sources. Uh, in this area, <coughs> we have, uh, we made a clear, uh, a, we take a clear decision, uh, and this decision was, uh, we are, as a package, a system integrator. We are not an expert of industrial automation, and for these reasons, we are working with partners that are specialized in industrial automation to build up the last mile. We can say this, we can call it in this way, that is the, uh, let me say, last level of connection between, uh, let me say, our manufacturing execution system and the, uh, and the uh, let me say, um, machines that we have in the shop floor or the equipment that we have in the shop floor. In fact, in this area of uh, machine connectivity, we've got partnership with companies like, for example, Alleantia, that is a company that is building, uh, let me say, uh, connection boxes between uh, machines and uh, MII or ANA Cloud. Uh, we are working with the plan connectivity, that is a component to connect directly some machines with the MII. We are working with other partners that are very, very active and very, very skilled in industrial automation. From my point of view, this is a, a winning approach, uh, uh, starting from my experience. Uh, then we've got the manufacturing execution suite that is related to the uh, level of integration between SAP is MII and the level of uh, uh, the application suite that in SAP is manufacturing execution suite. Uh, and all these uh, two uh, components are then integrated with the uh, ERP layer. The ERP layer could be, uh, let me say, old style ERP, like for example, uh, let me say the classical ERP, ACC, on ABAP, on-premise, uh, and so on, or the new one that is S4 on cloud and based on HANA, HANA technology. And in this layer, we are mix, we've got a mix of applications. We've got applications that are uh, on-premise application or cloud application that could be related to uh, collaboration technologies or, uh, let me say, uh, concurrent manufacturing technologies. Then we will see more in detail. Um, what we will see today uh, will be a set of uh, new releases of uh, applications that SAP is launching between November 2015 with the, with the first release of S4 for uh, uh, operations and manufacturing and the second release that will be in October. In fact, uh, today the uh, name of the SAP S4 
uh, releases are the year and the month. It means that uh, 1610 is uh, the uh, release of new functionalities based on S4 platform that will be done in 2016 and in the month of October. Uh, I will, I will uh, detail you uh, the functions that are still available today and what we will have in October with the new release of S4. Uh, in fact, uh, we will see today uh, a set of uh, uh, areas, a set of applications related to manufacturing and engineering, that is what happens between R&D and production, related to manufacturing planning and scheduling, um, related to quality management because uh, there is an importance or there is a more, more importance of all today uh, for the quality engineers, for the quality planner. In fact, SAP is focusing a lot to the uh, engineers that are working on the quality side. Uh, we will see obviously manufacturing execution, uh, the new MRP on the HANA, and uh, a closed loop uh, about all this functionality that could be analyzed with manufacturing intelligence and manufacturing collaboration processes. Uh, one thing that uh, is important for me to explain to you is also the new representation of uh, S4 uh, Enterprise Management Suite. Uh, in fact, uh, we have got uh, a dark blue area that is the area of, uh, uh, let us say, uh, cross applications that uh, could be used by every user inside ERP. Then we've got a light blue area that is the overlapping between a specific area, for example manufacturing, uh, where the, the uh, enterprise management suite. In the light blue you will find all the applications that are developed on top of S4 um, that are using the S4 um, let me say, uh, engine uh, and are included in the S4 ANA, uh, let me say, uh, suite. In the green area, you have got uh, the uh, applications that are today external application. In the past, uh, it was called extended ERP application and these applications are still available today on HANA platform. It means that uh, if we go deeper inside the manufacturing space, you will see that uh, we have got uh, in the dark blue the classical functionalities that uh, we expect to f we are expecting to find in the uh, enterprise backbone. Esporana is the evolution of uh, R3 ERP, and here I will find, for example. Uh, production planning and so on. In the light blue we will have some products that are based on S4 but are, uh, uh, are related to the manufacturing area and are leveraging on the uh, uh, HANA technology. And uh, in the uh, green one, we, the green uh, uh, area, we have got the solutions that are still available today on a not HANA DB and will be or are still today available on HANA DB, on HANA platform. It means that, uh, for example, manufacturing execution or manufacturing integration and intelligence today could be installed and could be run on HANA platform and not only on a classical, let me say, uh, old style <laughs> database uh, like we have, uh, we have worked uh, since today. Um, in terms of building blocks, all the connected factory uh, for SAP or all the manufacturing suite uh, is, uh, uh, let me say, described by some building blocks. As I told you before, uh, first of all, we've got the integration between R&D and manufacturing. We call it the uh, uh, manufacturing engineering area. Uh, then we've got all the manufacturing planning uh, capabilities, uh, uh, the manufacturing execution, uh, and all these three building blocks uh, um, could be accessible by an analytical platform that we call manufacturing analytics. Uh, another important uh, component that for SAP is a new, it's quite new one and is starting right now, uh, to be available on the market 
uh, is the manufacturing network. In the manufacturing network concept, uh, we are leveraging on the cloud platform to uh, connect, for example, uh, the, uh, the company with their supplier, with their business partner for manufacturing collaborations. For example, to exchange the 3D model of a component that must be uh, tooled or that must be assembled to avoid to send, for example, uh, I don't know, emails uh, or uh, to exchange a USB key or something like this with my manufacturing partners. Uh, to go deeper inside what we will see, uh, we will see uh, the announcement that we will have in manufacturing engineering, the announcement that we will have in planning and scheduling and in MAS. We will not cover the solutions that are still available today, for example, manufacturing execution, manufacturing intelligence and integration. We will have additional webinars about these topics. We will see only the solutions that, uh, in my previous slides, are in a light blue boxes. Light blue boxes means uh, solutions that uh, will be, that are built on top of uh, S4ANA, uh, platform and our new solutions that are not existing today. Uh, the first solution is not is not correct that they are not existing today. Uh, MRP is more than 20 years old <laughs> application, but uh, the the main uh, the main uh, new thing about MRP is the opportunity to have uh, the MRP run on HANA. MRP Run on HANA means that uh, we are uh, leaving the old approach of uh, uh, different tables and uh, different master data that must be uh, preloaded, stored, and, and so on. In the old approach uh, that you can see in the green area, with the new approach that is the uh, MRP on HANA, we have got uh, every, for every MRP launch, uh, four basic steps, and in this case, I could have a real time, uh, let me say, or maybe quite a real time um, a result uh, from my MRP. Usually, we talk about uh, uh, an improvement of performance in response time of MRP between five to ten times. The other important uh, uh, new uh, new uh, features that we've got in this area is the opportunity to have a user interface for MRP completely uh, developed in a new uh, with the new UX paradigm that is uh, Fiori uh, and HTML5. In fact, uh, one of the key benefits is uh, uh, called by SAP the um, home screen for uh, MRP user. For, uh, for the uh, production planner, for the MRP user, we've got uh, a set of uh, Fiori apps, a set of, uh, let me say, I think if, if you have seen Fiori in other areas, uh, you're quite familiar with this approach, uh, where we could have a very, very uh, clean, from my point of view, uh, user interface uh, with a very specific uh, boxes to click uh, to have some kind of results. Uh, the manufacturing planning that is still available today in uh, S4HANA 1511, uh, remember that 1511 means uh, the uh, the package released by SAP in 2015, in November 11, um, will include a set of new apps for the material planner, uh, a set of new uh, real-time alerting, uh, for example, for stock levels uh, and so on. Uh, and in this case, uh, we are leveraging on the new HANA capabilities uh, to uh, have uh, in real time all the different, uh, let me say, traffic lights related to the status of my requirement planning to uh, fulfill all the uh, different production orders that are in charge of the MRP launch. Uh, in fact, here we've got some example. Uh, we have got, as we discussed before, the MRP cockpit. The MRP cockpit is a set of Fiori apps available for the uh, MRP uh, user. 
uh, and uh, this the system is also uh, providing to the MRP user a clean and easy to use set of uh, uh, proposals um, to uh, let me say close the potential let me say uh, issues related to lack of materials and so on. Uh, once I launch the MRP, the system is providing, for example, a material planning view in detail to have an idea about what are the critical, for example, issues related to lack of materials, lack of, uh, um, of, uh, of stocks uh, availability, and then is also providing some proposal, some solution proposal to uh, close the uh, the uh, the problem, the issue, the um, the issue that MLP is providing to to the MLP planner. Uh, we will have also some innovations coming from uh, the new uh, release in uh, October this year. Uh, and uh, are the uh, improvement of the uh, MRP run of the engine uh, based on MRP today uh, in the current uh, uh, version, the 1511, the MRP is running on HANA but using some kind of old algorithm in the new one, the 1610. All the MRP run algorithm are rewrite completely on HANA and uh, in this new version, we will obtain and achieve uh, the real advantages in terms of uh, uh, fast response of MRP. And uh, SAP is also releasing a set of uh, new uh, MRP analytics um, that are a set of uh, user interface or a set of reports uh, um, that are uh, available in real time uh, on, on the new user interface that you can see on the lower side on the right for example, to uh, monitoring KPIs or other and additional uh, traffic lights and alerts that are coming from the MRP run. Another important uh, innovation that is coming with the uh, uh, 1610 uh, release is the uh, uh, finite capacity planner for production. Uh, I think that if you've got uh, uh, let me say, experience uh, with the topic of uh, uh, production planning. A lot of companies need to have a, a real detailed scheduling with uh, a lot of complex algorithms of uh, finite capacity uh, for production planning. Uh, in the past, this solution was covered by a module called the PPDS that was a part of APO suite. Now this uh, uh, production detail scheduling uh, will be uh, provided in S4 platform uh, with a new user interface and uh, with, uh, uh, let me say, different uh, kind of uh, uh, approach if we are in a make to order, make to project and uh, things like this. Another area of improvement is quality management. Uh, quality management means that uh, uh, for uh, the quality users, for the quality uh, guys, uh, there are a new set of user interface uh, to manage not, uh, not in specific the quality execution, that from my point of view was still covered by quality management of SAP, but uh, to manage and cover the quality planning and quality engineering. In fact, uh, um, there are a set of uh, Fiori Launchpad for, for example, inspection planning uh, and user's decision once we have made uh, the batch inspections. Uh, there is a focus in this moment uh, in, uh, in every company due to globalization, sustainability, to quality and in particular to the role of the quality technician. The quality technician is not a logistical guy that have to, to, that have to perform the quality checks, but is the guy that have to plan the quality checks. For example, uh, define uh, all the, uh, let me say, uh, quality checks that are coming from R&D and must be then decayed for manufacturing and uh, all the other logistical processes to fulfill all the quality, uh, all the quality procedures. Uh, SAP have developed uh, a set of uh, 
uh, a set of additional uh, apps and additional solutions for the quality technicians for this uh, uh, from my point of view a role in enterprises that in the past was quite not very well covered by SAP solutions uh, and uh, for this uh, for this uh, role uh, there is a, a set of workspaces called work list where I could manage all the to-do list and all in a, in a simple way all the uh, inspection lots and uh, uh, quality checks uh, that I have to do to the physical samples or to the uh, routines and operations that are related to a manufacturing process. Um, there is also an improvement in the record uh, the results of quality checks. Uh, um, today they will be not uh, uh, in, in, the, in this uh, new in this new uh, release that will be available in October this year, uh, there will be not necessary to use the classical quality management transactions to uh, registering the uh, result recording for quality checks, but uh, there will be a, a set of Fiori apps uh, very, very well uh, designed from my point of view for the quality technicians. And uh, we will also add uh, some detailed pages, additional detailed pages, for example, for inspection characteristics, uh, um, level of tolerances on, of these uh, inspection characteristics, and so on. It's a detailed functionalities, but uh, from my point of view, the important things to uh, keep in mind is the uh, opportunity that we have with this new uh, set of uh, user interface to involve in SAP quality management processes, also the quality technicians. And uh, last but not least, uh, uh, we have got additional capabilities for manufacturing engineers. Manufacturing engineers. Uh, usually this is a very, very, let me say, critical area in every company and this area is the area between the R&D and manufacturing. I think that if you are working in an industrial company, everyone is usually uh, worried about uh, the uh, lack of collaboration or lack of uh, uh, handover of information between the R&D, between the engineering bill of material and the manufacturing bill of material. Um, there are a solution that is still existing and that is uh, still uh, usable in SAP called PSS product structure synchronization with the new uh, release of S4. Uh, this uh, functionality will be integrated with uh, the capabilities of uh, Visual Enterprise. It means that uh, we can track and manage all the changes between engineering, engineering bill of material and manufacturing bill of material, but we can also see the result of these changes in a, a 3D way, in a 3D model that will change uh, following the, for example, proposed modification coming from R&D. Uh, and this is called Visual Enterprise Planner. It's, cl it's clear that this tool uh, is also related uh, to the implementation of uh, uh, SAP Visual Enterprise. Another important uh, feature that is also leveraging on SAP Visual Enterprise is related to uh, the visual manufacturing assembly planning. Uh, this solution uh, is very, very helpful, for example, for companies that are working in a configurable make-to-order scenario. What does it mean? It means that uh, we are uh, engaging companies that are using variant configurator of SAP, for example. Uh, this functionality is uh, uh, related to the opportunity to build up automatically, for example, uh, visual assembly instructions based on SAP Visual Enterprise that could be uh, related to the configuration that I made in a master bill of material to create the order bill of material. Uh, in fact, in this example, the uh, master bill of material is the 150% bill of material. I apply on this 100% bill of material some dependency and configurable rules to create the order bill of material. And what I could uh, create automatically, it's clear that I need to have some kind of uh, 
work done uh, in the background to do this, uh, I could create uh, assembly planning instructions for the shop floor coming from the specific configuration that I've made. This topic is related to, if you remember my first uh, slide, lot size of one and how to improve the connection between customer requests, PLM and technical data and manufacturing execution. The last set of functionalities, we are quite, we are quite, quite close to the finish of this webinar, but the last set of functionalities are related to the manufacturing network services. Uh, and here we've got a couple of uh, functionalities. One is related to analytics. Uh, there are a set of new dashboards that are able to collect data coming from different MAS systems or coming from different MII systems that have got all my uh, different uh, manufacturing plans. And the idea of this analytical platform is to collect this data and uh, to create dashboards uh, to monitoring at high, high, uh, high level, at, I don't know, headquarter or at the uh, global level, the status of my manufacturing plants. It's something like a overall equipment efficiency at the global level if I've got a set of manufacturing plants all over the world or, or if I've got companies that are uh, all over the world where I collect data with MII, for example, from the shop floor. The other solution, the other, uh, the other important improvement coming in October is manufacturing collaboration services. This is a collaboration tool. This is a collaboration portal to uh, putting together suppliers, manufacturing suppliers, and uh, the manufacturing company uh, to improve, for example, exchange of uh, CID design, CID information, bill of materials, and so on with uh, third-party manufacturing suppliers to avoid, for example, to exchange data with USB key, mail, and so on, and that also to support the classical collaboration process that we have in manufacturing. One of this is PIPAP, is very common in automotive, uh, production part approval process that is, let me say, a real collaboration process that is involving uh, production and quality management uh, uh, between the, uh, the enterprise and their suppliers. Another, and the last one, important uh, functionality is related to the, uh, let me say, also, also for SAP, the 3D print starts to be a, a reality. And uh, uh, there is the possibility to extract uh, data, uh, and uh, this data could be sent uh, in a certificate way to the uh, 3D printer uh, service provider. Do you know that today there are a lot of companies that are providing 3D printing components uh, as a service and this kind of uh, uh, services must be, uh, let me say, um, managed in a good way in terms of data that could be exchanged. Well, we have got uh, more or less uh, finished. Uh, a couple of things about uh, what we have seen. Uh, uh, and that I would like to underline. Uh, with S4, we will have new developments, we will have uh, a, a new opportunities in terms of user experience, and we will have, uh, uh, we can leverage it, leveraging on the HANA native capabilities uh, to improve uh, response time and uh, to build up uh, processes that uh, we aren't able to build up in the, in the past because we haven't got a, a real-time response in terms of results, for example, in MRP or some other things like this. Uh, another thing that I would like to underline is the choice, choice of development. We are not obliged to work only on the cloud. The cloud, the s on the cloud is an opportunity, from my point of view, an intelligent opportunity, but we can maintain some kind of application on the on-premise edition of S4. S4 could be deployed in both ways. If you're interested or if you have seen something that you, that you, are, that you would like to deep dive with us, uh, we will be uh, in September, and SAP Italy headquarters, we will invite 
customers to this event, but uh, if you're interested, you can send us an email and we will invite uh, for an industry for those zero day. Uh, we will be uh, then in October to one of the most important fair for uh, tooling machines and automated machines, that is BIMO in Milan, uh, and we will be also in subforum the 20th uh, of October. In subforum, we will be uh, with uh, an industrial partner that is working with us today, that is Festo. Festo is one of the leaders in industrial uh, automation and we are developing with Festo the drivers to connect uh, Festo machines with uh, SAP directly. We will also have uh, some additional webinars in the future in the next month uh, uh, in, sept in September to talk about the announcements in the PLM and R&D area and in October we will talk about how to manage big data coming from manufacturing process. I finished. Uh, if there are some questions, uh, you can write me the questions on the chat and I will reply to you. Uh, otherwise, I, I think that from my point of view, I thank you for your participation on this, uh, on this uh, webinar and hope to have you, uh, let me say, uh, in the next uh, steps of this industry for the tour journey that we are setting up with uh, our customers uh, uh, from now to the next uh, to the next month if you would like to contact me directly you can write me an email you can call me uh, and here you can find my uh, twitter account and uh, uh, linkedin account if you would like to follow my post and so on now, uh, thank you for, for being here to spend one hour with us uh, to go deeper inside these topics and uh, see you in the next, uh, in the next uh, events related to Industry for Auto with Tech Edge.